All right. Go. Let's take the chair over here. Come on. Take the chair around. Come on. We only have five days until Christmas. Today, I have a black tea, which is good because that's what I wanted. Um, it's one of my whispering pines teas. <sighs> Ow. I can't believe it's Monday. I just slammed my, door, my finger in a drawer. I honestly cannot believe that it is Monday and it is the final week of Vlogmas, so week four. Um, yeah, I have Thursday off and still up in the air what I'm going to do with Thursday, but I have Thursday off, but I work Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, just like a normal week. Well, mostly normal week. Um, my team is doing like a virtual happy hour on Tuesday, so tomorrow, and that day I get to log off early, so that's nice. Um, but, yeah, <laughs> business as usual the rest of the time. Um, I'm going to make my tea, I'm going to go fill up my water, make my tea, and get my day started. I need you to, to know that my fingernails match my snack. <laughs> it was not a great start to the week. Um, most of my team is just like extremely stressed out. So I spent most of my day fielding problem questions and everybody was ranting about a thing one thing or another because everybody's just so burnt out and being pushed to their absolute limits so it was a little rough um but after work has been really nice we had a nice dinner got to play with the little one and now i'm going to um and i'm booting up my desktop mac to um try to finish sorting at least through May um, with the pictures so that I can get the photo books moving because I last year I did this every month so then by the time I got to December I only had to do December but like I've only done through February at this point and I'm feeling really overwhelmed about it so I need to knock out some of it so that I can finish this year and then start off next year clean with like not having to worry about um, doing this at the end of the year, doing it month by month, setting a side time at the end of or the beginning of the, every month to work on this. So that's what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to sort pictures and read a little bit and uh, maybe listen to my audiobook. I don't know. We'll see how the next Basically, I'm gonna give myself like an hour so like 630 to 730 To work on this and then see how I feel That took me an hour and 20 minutes To do so when it, it's weird to see my nails actually with something on it Can you see them? Yes, okay um yeah, that took me an hour and 20 minutes to do, and it was just, <gasps> I think it was just April and May. So now I'm transferring the pictures from August to the shared drive. Um... This is just like a 45 step process, honestly, because for some reason my iCloud doesn't show all of the pictures from my phone. And so for some reason I can't just straight download them from there. And if I plug in like a USB cord or a lightning cable and try to download it there, it doesn't download, it won't show them all for some reason. So like the only way that I can get my 
pictures from my phone to my computer, which is an iMac, is to airdrop them. But I can only, like, I have to airdrop them in, like, batches of 50, or they get these, like, corrupt boxes, like these little blips in the photo. Um, so I have to transfer them in blocks of, like, 50 or 60. And then I have to take them from my computer, put them on the shared drive, and then I have to go through the shared drive and pick out the ones I actually want to use in the book and drop them into a folder back on my computer, the book, because the shared drive has mine and Justin's pictures on it. So it's like an ordeal. And then after all of that, I then... Um, have to go in and actually build the pages for the book so yeah, if I would do this all at once once a month this would not be such a pain but because I'm having to do like eight months worth nine months worth something like that it's really annoying so well I got a good amount of photo moving around done. Um, I think I got through June sorted, so it's half the year. Um, now I'm just hanging out reading. Justin just got back a few minutes ago. <laughs> Justin just got back a few minutes ago. Um, so gonna read for probably, I don't know, 10 more minutes and then go to sleep. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully it will be less chaotic than today. <sighs> the little lens cover on my camera is getting worse and worse. <laughs> um, again, so it's probably past time to have a new camera, honestly. But also, just, I don't wanna try to pick one out. So that's where we are. Let's see what we've got today. This looks, yeah, it's an herbal tea. So we'll be drinking this tonight. Put that over there, or this afternoon, just not right now because caffeine, please. Um, cats also really want to be fed, but you are going to wait for mommy to get her tea. What shall I drink? Um, I think I might just do my old standard, which is Imperial Gold Buds from Whispering Pines, because it's tasty, and I don't have to think about it. I'm ready for this week to be over. Camera. Um, we had our work happy hour and like approximately this is the view so they can see this back here and somebody asked about it. So then I had to out myself as a book nerd. I mean, they know I'm a book nerd, but basically I was like, so um, sometimes... I spent a wheel to decide what uh, my next read is going to be. I didn't say I do that every month because that was, that was a little more than I was willing to get into uh, on work happy hour. But I had my delicious gotta get up to get down, sent Justin to get the baby because responsible adult here. Um, and it was fun to catch up with my coworkers because... I think I've said this before, but most of my team is um, not local. So um, a good portion of them live in various parts of Maine. Um, so, yes, it was fun to see everybody or the majority of them on camera. And we got to talk about board games and ridiculous things that have been happening this year. So always fun to get a little bit of social time with your coworkers when you like your coworkers and I like my coworkers. Um, reading update. 
I am very close to the end of this. So um, I think I'm on page two. Ooh, hold on. Um, I think I am on switching hands. So I'm very, very bad at left-handed opening anything. Yes, I'm on page 200 of 305. So 105 pages left to go in this. Um, I don't remember how many hours that is um, audiobook wise, but still really, really loving this. I also, um, so I think I said yesterday that I got a package or I got one a giveaway of um, <sighs> Greek myth themed books. Well, this one showed up today, four to six weeks. Indeed, no, it was like four days. So, um, The Women of Troy by Pat Barker. I have not actually read The Silence of the Girls, um, but this one super interested me after I read Natalie Haynes' book, um, A Thousand Ships, which was one of my favorite books of last year. I read it last year, but it came out this, it came out in 2021, and it was fantastic. So, <sighs> yes. That came today along with some cute little ornaments I made. They cute. Look at this cute little face. Um, yeah, and then apparently tomorrow I'm getting something that my boss sent. But that's neither here nor there. Um, I am going to go round up my stuff up here. My office is a disaster, to be honest. It's pretty bad. Um, but I'm going to round up my stuff up here, and then I'm going to go downstairs and figure out what we're going to be eating for dinner. Um, we've got a lot of leftovers, so it's going to be leftovers in some combination. And then, yeah, wait for the baby to get home. I'm tired. <laughs> this week is, I think I've said it a million times, this has just been a really exhausting week. Um, this is the first fourth quarter, which is like our busy season, that I've been in the job I'm in now. And I think in past years, I had a certain idea of what the person doing my job before me was doing this time of the year and I was very wrong <laughs> because it is actual chaos so basically by the end of the day I'm just <laughs> just trying to get through till I can go to sleep um I just vegged out on a bunch of YouTube videos and not even particularly good ones either um just random things. Although I did watch a really good YouTube video um, on the Try, Try Guys channel, and it was um, one of the of the like Try Moms series, where um, Rachel Cole, who's there, who's the Try Guys producer, she has produced this series with um, some of the other women. So Ariel Fulmer, who's Ned's wife. And then um, a couple of other women that I don't actually know how they're connected to the production. Um, but basically they've done some like photo shoots and stuff. And the whole thing is talking about like what it's like to be a woman getting used to a new body after you've had children. And I just really appreciate the honest conversations that they have about body image and about like the BS that is beauty standards and ideas of what a woman should look like after she has literally pushed a human out <laughs> um, and grown a human for nine months. So I thought that was really lovely. There was also a, a woman on there that wasn't on the previous one who was currently pregnant and she was the greatest like she just is one of those women that just says whatever she's thinking and I would be friends with her because she was fantastic so that was um 
that was fun to watch and um, I could relate to that a lot so there was that uh, but everything else was just sort of mindless so yes I have made very little progress in reading this week I have read nothing today I listened obviously to my audiobook on the way to and to and from dropping off Grayson but that was it didn't have time any other point during the day to pick up a book um and honestly like my reading for the month of December has been crap so um yeah I'm gonna read some more in this I think I've got like three or four pages to the end of this section and then I might start the next section I'm not sure I've got about seven sections left I think um so I need to get moving on this so that I can in fact finish it by the end of the year um it looks like I have a lot more than I have um but about gosh I don't know at least 60 pages of this is just acknowledgments and um notes so like the reference notes and stuff so it's not actually as thick as it looks but it is still a lot of information to take in and understand and so that does make it um a little bit more difficult to read at times um definitely when i'm feeling overwhelmed and stressed out which is why i haven't gotten really any lunchtime reading done anyways all of that is very like long-windedness of me tonight <sighs> i'm just gonna hunker down and read and then go to sleep probably in about an hour so i'm gonna give myself like an hour of of reading time um if i decide i'm i don't really want to read anymore then i'm just gonna go sleep early because i don't need to mindlessly scroll or watch any more youtube videos so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning i had to go to the grocery store again today <laughs> uh, it was a wild world out there but i got the pierogies because i do not have the mental energy to make handmade pierogies this year homemade pierogies same thing this year so we're eating frozen pierogies justin assured me that that was fine um, and thank God, because I just, it's a lot of work. And I'm just not here for it. Um, so, I got frozen pierogies, and I got sauerkraut and mushrooms. So, I got that covered. Mom has the honey baked ham for Christmas morning. Angel biscuits. Crap. Did I get shortening? I didn't. Oh, I'm gonna have to ask my parents if they have shortening because those stupid angel biscuits take shortening. <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, so just one chaotic trip to the store and hopefully that's the last time that I have to actually leave the house and go in public before Christmas because we're trying to minimize contact with people and breathing air that other people are breathing right now. That is that. Um, <clears throat> so let's get through today because today's the last work day for me before Christmas. So you just got to make it through what I am sure is going to be chaos of a day. It's already eight o'clock and I'm still not logged on because grocery trip. Um, and I'm waiting on my tea, but yeah, then we're going to just power through this work day. And then we'll be off for five days and hopefully the mantle will get up by then because currently we still don't have it up so hopefully this will be a mantle with stockings and it'll be just so festive all right so i do not have to work again until tuesday good. Um, I self date up in the morning um, and take little one over to his Nana's 
um, so that I can get some stuff done around here. But I think I have one present left to wrap. Maybe two. <laughs> and, um, yeah, and then that's it. I think Grayson and I are going to make cookies um, tomorrow. No. We're going to make cookies on Christmas Eve. I also have to make angel biscuits, um, which is something that we would traditionally eat with um, Christmas Eve dinner, but we're not doing traditional Christmas Eve dinner, but we have to have angel biscuits to sandwich with the honey baked ham to make ham biscuits for Christmas morning. And ham biscuits are our Christmas morning. So um, I have to make angel biscuits specifically to eat as leftover biscuits on Christmas morning. So I am very excited about Christmas morning ham biscuits. Um, enough about that. I am snuggled up here with my little cat. It's funny because usually he sits in front of me on the ottoman so that he can warm by the fire, but apparently blanket wins out over fire because this cat loves the blanket and we can't leave them out anymore because he went through a phase starting about this time last year where he was peeing on blankets. So can't leave them out all the time like we used to for him to snuggle in um but which makes me sad because this cat loves a blanket <sighs> it's my kitty He's trying to get comfortable yeah I'm just trying to get comfy I'm going to read some more. I actually have about 35 pages left to read in this, um, and then I'm done. So I think I'm going to try to read about 10 pages or so of this tonight <sighs> and see if I can finish it out tomorrow, actually. Here to say that I'm going to bed now. I'm two chapters, yes, chapters, from the end of How to Be an Anti-Racist. I think like 25 pages, something like that. So, um, plan to finish that tomorrow. Um, and then let's, and then we'll figure out together what I'm going to read. I've been carrying around an Animorphs book and the Grand Sophie for like a, a week and a half and I haven't touched either of them. So maybe I'll read one of those. Maybe I'll read something completely different. We shall see. Um, <laughs> I'm very tired though. So calling it a night and I will see you in the morning after I've dropped the baby off. goodness um I just finished my Ariadne um I have spent the morning playing Animal Crossing by the fireplace with my chai latte it's been glorious and relaxing um I had to turn the fireplace off though because the mantle is going up today very excited about that um so 
yeah, I just finished, I've been listening to Ariadne while playing Animal Crossing, so I just finished that. It was very good, um, just shy of a five star. No real reasoning for that, except that it just didn't feel like, I don't know, five stars have to be well-written, good books with like some emotional feeling that I have to them and this one was just slightly missing that emotional part so um, my five stars are just completely irrational so anything four stars and above or like four four and a half stars highly recommend um, so I gave it like a 4.75 on story graph which if you want to follow me slash be friends on the story graph that link is down below you can always click down there and follow what I'm reading. I no longer use Goodreads because just, nope. It's poorly designed um, and also run by Amazon, whereas the Storygraph is run by readers who actually take feedback. And um, it's relatively new, and so new features are coming all the time. And it's fantastic. So. Yeah, if you haven't switched over to the story graph, you can import your Goodreads data. Um, so you can do that. I chose to import my Goodreads data and then clear my um, to read shelf so that I could just start fresh with instead of having like 400 books that I don't remember ever putting on that list. Um, so yeah, double thumbs up. I only have one because the other one's holding the camera, but double thumbs up to the story graph. And, yeah, so Ariadne. It's the story of Ariadne of Crete um, and what happens to her. Um, I don't feel like you can really give spoilers because, it's again, it's a Greek myth, but it kind of follows her through her life on Nexus and, um, like, her and... It, it also follows her sister Phaedra, and so you kind of see like the choices that each of them make, the way that their lives went, and it's really at the core, again, a story of the women in Greek myths, because most Greek myths focus on the men and their heroics and all of these things, but very few of them actually highlight the parts where more often than not, women were punished for the sins of men. And that is really the core of this one, is um, the, the consequences of men's actions falling to the women connected to them in some way or another. So it tells the story mostly of Ariadne and Phaedra, but you also see other women and the consequences that they had to um, bear. So, yeah. Loved it showered clean um put some stuff on the mantle but i'm <laughs> but i'm waiting to show you that until we put the little the little hooks in for the stockings and then i'll show it to you which will probably not be until this evening but um yes so i'll show you how good it just it's such a small touch but it looks so good it changes the whole look of that wall and it's great so um my parents are dropping Grayson back off over here at three which is in about 50 minutes so I'm gonna try to knock out one of the two chapters I have left to read in this and um yeah, then hopefully I can just spend the rest of the afternoon, ooh, spend the rest of the afternoon playing with my little, um, haven't decided if I'm going to make the biscuit dough with him tonight, this afternoon, or if I'm going to do that tomorrow, or after he goes to bed, haven't decided, we'll cross that bridge when he gets here and see what kind of mood he's in. Look at it. It's so festive. Got all our stockings. We got little houses and trees. 
It's gonna look so good. Ugh, I love it. Well, let me get the tree in. It's just so festive. Well, the cutest little mail delivery person uh, brought a package in for me. This was on the porch uh, from Penguin. And I actually had not, I seen this one, but um, it wasn't super on my radar. So this is Greek Myths, A New Retelling by Charlotte Higgins. Um, I think these are short stories maybe, I'm not sure. Hey buddy, no, no. Here I am with my cheery fireplace mantle behind me. I love it. Um, baby is in bed. Books are read. Um, I finished both of the books I was in the middle of. So um, I'm going to see what Justin wants to do. When he comes downstairs, we might watch some Avatar. Um, but if not, then I've got <laughs> the two books I've showed you multiple times. Which are this Animorphs book and this one, which I'm still on the same page I was on like two weeks ago. So, doing great. We're doing great. Um, I did read a whole page, I mean a whole book in the meantime of that because I ended up putting this down and then picking up um, How to Be an Anti-Racist. So, you know. Um, but yeah. I think I might try to read the rest of this chapter. Um, while he's doing whatever he's doing. So, we'll try that. I have a cough drop over here because um, gas heat makes my throat dry and I've been sitting in front of the glorious fireplace with its glorious mantle and stockings um, all evening. So, I've been reading this since I finished um, the other books I was in the middle of. I have picked this back up. And it's just funny because it's so fluffy. Like, it's so, like, light and fluffy. And even the romance books that I read... Sorry. Even the romance book, book or books that I read this year all dealt with, like, heavy topics in the context of romance. And so, um, I just don't feel like I've read anything that's just like pure fluff in a while. And that's what this feels like it's going to be, which, I don't know, I, I think is probably a good note to end on this year. Um, although, we'll see. I may finish this. Hmm, I got about a week and it's like 300 pages. 300 and... It's like 350 pages, so probably this will be it for the year. Um, but yeah, not mad about that. Good Christmas Eve morning. I'm gonna go downstairs and see what the baby's up to. I just opened, um, we opened the presents that my best friend, ooh, my hair, from high school sent to us and there was a cute little present for me and then something for Grayson and it was so cute they're so thoughtful I'll put a little video up here of the cute little like they're like little cups with arms and legs and one of them's reading a book and the other one's drinking tea and it's so cute and I, I love them <laughs> their perfection so I need y'all to know something went horribly wrong here <laughs> And as I'm mixing it, and the ingredients are, and the recipe is like, so all the flour is damp. I'm like, something's not right here, because it should be a dough, not a batter. So then I go and I look, and I did something backwards. <laughs> Instead of putting one cake yeast, which is actually one and a half, um, and three tablespoons of lukewarm water, or one and three, sorry, or three tablespoons of lukewarm water, 
I put <laughs> I put one cup of water and or one and a half cups of water instead of three tablespoons and three tablespoons of yeast instead of one and a half. So, so it's just yeasty goop. And I didn't figure it out until all of the ingredients were combined. So, <laughs> gotta start over. It's been a long day and I'm tired and my eyes are so itchy. Um, we made like low key Polish Christmas dinner for just me, Justin Grayson and Justin's dad. It was still a lot of work. Um, and then I'm making angel biscuits for, we used to have them for Christmas Eve dinner at my grandmother's house but we eat them with with honey baked ham in the morning as ham biscuits and that's like the Christmas thing. I just opened the oven for making them and about cried because it smelled like my grandmother's house at Christmas. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so that is Basically, I'm waiting in five minutes. The last batch will come out of the oven. I'm gonna throw them over there to cool, cover them before I go to bed, and then, yeah, and then that's it. That's it for another Vlogmas. Sorry, this is like a super anticlimactic end to Vlogmas, but I'm tired. <sighs> Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday or had a wonderful holiday because when you're watching this, it will already be passed. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.